everybody and their grandmother wants an ugly sneaker. A's for ambition, be what I wanna be. See past the situation that's in front of me. What is up guys, it's Joseph Arnon, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button, it'll help out a lot more than you think, and don't forget to like as well. And for today's video, we're going to be talking about ugly sneakers, and that's just because they've been everywhere. Like, it seems like every brand, every company, every fashion person wants their own ugly sneaker. Like, we saw Balenciaga did it, Nike did it, Adidas did it, Reebok did it. It just shows that it's a growing trend and everyone wants in on it. So I thought, why don't we just make our own ugly sneaker? It's just crazy how fast trends change because I remember being in middle school and like that style of sneaker with like the chunky sole, the weird like textures going on, like super bright colors was like the exact opposite of what what you wanted to wear. That was social suicide to even wear. But now it seems like everybody and their grandmother wants an ugly sneaker. So for today's video, we're going to be making one. Look at these basic, boring pair of Calvin Klein sneakers and we're going to turn it into an ugly sneaker. So if you want to see that happen, just stay clicked on and we'll get right into it and by the way I just like to add if you're still watching which is rare because most of my videos get like one minute of watch time maximum don't forget to follow me on Instagram it would really help even if you don't watch this video just just go click out follow me on Instagram get it done and over with and yeah Alright, before anybody decides to comment on how I should have just painted or used some other method to make the sneaker look cooler and look more like an ugly sneaker, you seriously have no idea how hard it is to paint a design on a sneaker, especially this sneaker, especially with cheap acrylic paint. Like, it was taking way too long, it had to dry in between for like a good 20 minutes before I could add another coat, it was rubbing off, and I just realized that I could just go in and Photoshop and make it look how I wanted to like if I wasn't gonna use Photoshop I probably would have just like cut up another pair of shoes I had and like stuck the sole to the bottom to like give it a thicker sole but what's the point in doing all that we can just do it online and plus let's not pretend like Photoshopping isn't kind of hard like I'm not the best at it but I still struggle a lot and it's like every time you just learn something new and it's just hard to do And plus, at least I'm honest with it. Like, I know a lot of other art accounts on Instagram that every time they Photoshop their picture or they enhance something digitally, they'll just put it in there and sneak it in like nothing happened. It's like, no, if you're gonna use digital, cause it's still an art form, it's just digital art, at least be honest. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the ugly sneaker I made. 
I honestly think it was one of the ugliest sneakers I've ever seen. And not just ugly in the regular, like, cool ugly sneaker way. Just genuinely ugly. Like, I would never... It was just fun to do and just mess around for a few hours and see what I could come up with. Let me know in the comments what your favorite ugly sneaker is. Alright, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, which I'll tag at the end. And it's in the comments and description as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video because they inspire me to love them g is past go with ignite the cash flow when aces put your heart and whatever's your last hope